Okay, so this is a video of the DJI Mavic Assistant 2. And uh, so you down you go to their website and you download their uh, their link to their latest and greatest Assistant 2 at DJI. And so then when you start uh, turn it on, it says, "Oh, we're going to put an upgrade." So then it downloads it again. And uh, I've had a problem with this. I I connect that screen up to this laptop with an HDMI cable and and so I would for two times I went through the it made me go through the uh, calibration process which can be found here uh, I'm gonna have to uh, change put a new battery in there. Well, I don't know maybe I got enough juice on it so I do this calibration situation here and it tells you what to do I've done this thing three or four times already and I was getting this error error about screen size cannot you know in, input your screen size so let's uh, let's just kind of go through this thing here let's see so we get we get to this point okay I got to rotate it 180 degrees there we go come back here get back in there a little closer boom there it is all right boom okay so now I can and so you want to keep your drone in the same position and you want to you want to uh, you don't want to raise it lower it move it to the left or to the right you want to uh, you want to uh, keep it in the same position and it'll go through the process and it tells you this in your thing so now it's got another camera a little farther away we're going to chase this around here It's better to do it with almost two hands, and you want to you want to uh, anchor an elbow to your chest or something to keep the same distance away. Okay, now it's telling me to uh, turn it turn it this way. Let's see. Yeah, I guess turn it this way. All right. There we go. All right, boom. Same thing. And so you want to angle this thing without moving. It's really difficult with the legs in the way because if you make, if you get farther away, it's going to start make you start over again. You will move the aircraft closer toward the. Let me switch hands here. Okay, so that might make it a little easier. There we go. Okay, there's that one. Start the rear camera, so it was wanting me to send it back this way tells you that and it'll calibrate it right now okay so there we go boom you got to get them and hold there and it'll close off and go around the circles again and you can get pretty fluid with it if first time you've ever done it you might have some difficulties There's that one. Okay, now we need to come back farther. Oop, there we go. Almost had it locked. Locked, okay. Got it going around again. And again, every time you move, you have to rotate it. Your range of motion becomes a bit clouded. Okay, so now turn it this way. Fold the rear legs up out of the way and uh, what happened oh my uh, computer oh man I what happened maybe I gotta do it this way yeah that's it alright my arm is getting really my arm is getting really tired here 
Okay, get closer. Boom. All right, here we go again. Okay, I have folded it. Now flip it over the other way. I'll use the other side here. And uh, here we go. What do we got to do here? Get it a little closer. Go ahead and lock it in. Okay, should be getting close to done. I've done this before and had success, but I never had the other. Okay, so now it's saying, okay, calibration is completed, so it's calculating here. Let's see if it does it this time. Hundred percent calibration complete. Yeah, so that was it. So that if you're ever calibrating this thing, and I saw that a lot of people had that problem, they they were getting this uh, this uh, box would pop up and say could not determine screen size. Well, that's because you had an HDMI connected to another monitor or something. So now we're cool. Now I'm packing business. Right on. I hope this helps somebody.